First TikTok August 6th of 2021 in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Puerto Vallarta. So I, like, I posted all these pictures of us together. Whoa. And I woke up the next morning and we had over a million views and I said, babe, this what? is not happening. Jesus. I think people saw in the video that I had on stilettos and she looked like a boy. Bro, guys, do I also have to dress up like a woman to get a million followers? Guys, like what's going on? I mean, I, I want to get more subscribers. What, what do I have to do? I'm... I'm posting videos every day, you know. Nothing's happening. There's no special treatment for me. I'm a normal heterosexual man, you know. I, I also deserve views, insane amount of views, like a milli, you know. Like, come on. What up, Yambini sauce? Welcome to another video. What we're going to do in this video is just talk about a very feminine guy and a very masculine girl. And they're together in a relationship or something. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. This ought to be exciting. This is Merrin. She fell in love with James. I'm a <sighs> Why does he have to be black? Why is it gotta be black? Presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting Ugh. strip man. I guess people perceive us no. as weird as a couple because we don't follow the regular status quo. <sighs> and we don't look like how they want us to look. The couple met through TikTok, and despite not being each other's usual type... I was identifying as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. I've only dated girls in the past. The most freaking question we get... Wait, so if you just dated girls, why are you dating him? Or is it... Oh my god... Is who is the woman? Or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the boy? Yes. Who is the man? I miss you. How was your flight? Fine. I'm hungry. Hi, I'm Marin, and this is my boyfriend, James. I'm a masculine presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting straight man. Marin and James met oh online after a chance comment from Marin on TikTok sparked a conversation between the pair. I was posting different pictures of myself. Makes me feel so uncomfortable. Stuff like dress fam, dress mask. And I had commented on this other masculine girl's TikTok who okay. was talking about how she thought that fem men were cute. And I was like, oh my God, girl. You're <sighs> Jesus, guys. I think I'm, I think I'm done. I think I'm just done, guys. My God, look at that. So I've only, I've only dated girls in the past. I'm very much attracted to femininity as a whole. I love that just his energy is very feminine. Like sometimes he'll like, like this is not, the little jack is not feminine, but the way he's acting is feminine. I just... <laughs> my sexuality was out. What happened to my son? What happened to my boy? He just left for college and then just became like this. In high school, I was like this full straight, like almost hyper masculine version of myself. Okay, where what like happened? I was still one of the girls. What? However, I was pulling girls. And then I got to college mm. and I was like, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> Not for me. Wait, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand if you're, if you're feminine and you want to be with a girl, but you, oh, because it's the masculine and the, you know, the all the. You know, it's like counting all these equations in my head and I'm trying to figure out, okay, but why, then why don't you just like guys? Because guys are masculine or are you gay or aren't you gay? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. I was on TikTok constantly, like everybody was. And I was like, oh my God, these TikTok lesbians are so fine. <gasps> so that's like the first time I was exposed to like masculinity through a woman. Now, Merrin and James have been dating long distance for over a year. Jesus. Oh, Merrin does the cooking. Yeah. So I'm here for a good little minute. I guess people perceive us as weird as a couple because we don't follow the regular status quo. And we don't look <sighs> like how they want us to look or how they would expect us to look. Listen, it's not, it's not the fact that you guys are doing something that is like crazy. No, it's the fact that everyone always has to put it in our faces. That's the problem. I mean, I don't think anyone has problems with this. It's just the fact that you guys get your own shows 
And it's like the whole world is just like bending backwards for you guys right now. And the, that's the crazy part, which I think it's like, why? why? Why are they getting special treatment? Like, why don't I get a show where I'm just like, oh, I'm a, I'm a normal guy with my girlfriend. And this is what, like, why is that like a thing? Like, why is your sexuality a thing? I don't get that. And the sound, ugh. Mm. You're hungry. I'm still on it. Why does he have to be black, guys? I say, I have a girlfriend. <sighs> that's the end of that's the end of the, the that's the response. I have a girlfriend. So why do you dress the way that you do? Because I like it. I like to be cute. Period. Why why always the hand like period? Like I like to be cute. Okay? You gotta know that I am cute. First TikTok August 6th of 2021 in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Puerto Vallarta. So I, like, I posted all these pictures of us together. Whoa. And I woke up the next morning and we had over a million views and I said, babe, this what? is not happening. Jesus. I think people saw in the video that I My had on stilettos and she looked like a boy. Bro, guys, do I also have to dress up like a woman to get a million followers? Guys, like what's going on? I mean, I, I want to get more subscribers. What, what do I have to do? I'm, I'm posting videos every day, you know. Nothing's happening. There's no special treatment for me. But they, they're posting their, you know, their love, their love story. And they're getting tons of views. Like, we got we to gotta switch it up here, man. Like, this, I'm a normal heterosexual man, you know. I, I also deserve views, insane amount of views. Like, a milli, you know. Like, come on. In the beginning, people would say, like, they're just best friends. They're doing this oh, for yeah. views. Yeah. The most frequent question we My get God. is, who is the woman? Or, like, yeah. who is the girl? Who is the boy? Yeah, that's a good question. Who is and the man? It was so frequent. We were like, how stupid would that be if we made a YouTube video with the title, Who's the woman? Who is the woman? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. She identifies as a woman, I identify as a man. The only should... thing different is our presentation. But it has like 40,000 40, views. 40,000 views. <laughs> 40,000? I, I wear my white heels. Okay. Bro, Loki, YouTube is just fucking hustling us with these views. It's literally, it's, it's very much like... A... It's literally giving me garden vibes. Mix of masculine and feminine. Oh my god. Because like, I don't like to wear dresses and like that. But I love a flowing garment, honey. Like a long... What happened to my son? He left for college. He just went. He went to college. And he came back like that. A flowing garment is going to get me every time. My God. But at the same time, I'm not going to put on a ball gown. No, that's not me. Man yeah. likes to match me. I, I <laughs> I think you're too fabulous for that, sir. Marin, Marin will, Marin, Marin will inadvertently <sighs> watch me get dressed first. There is no big hoopla around oh our relationship. God. We are really just two people that dress differently, but the rest of our relationship is the same. It's maybe just that he's so feminine. Maybe that's the thing, which is like, you know, like if he was a little masculine, if he had the heels on with the masculine energy, I'd still be like, oh, okay, maybe like it's, it's a bit weird, but he's so feminine my guy i don't know man i feel like because none of our friends like ever felt like the way people are commenting on our tiktoks they're like it's so regular like it's so normal which it is we just dress differently i don't mind our relationship being public just because if it's so normal why don't you guys just keep it between you you too. You know how society likes the weird? That's what I'm starting to notice about society. It's so attracted to what's, you know, weird for some reason. I could do a great video where I talk about artificial intelligence and how it's going to change the future and everything, but it doesn't get any views. But if I sit down and I just talk about some weird relationship, like this person's doing some sexual shit and that, you know, like a sexual spell or something, they're doing something, then it's like, whoa, okay, we gotta watch this. I don't know why is your attention so connected to like sexuality? Maybe it's like they're just shoving this out right now, but it's just a little weird. Don't you guys think it's just a little weird? I feel like we get, I like being recognized in public, it's fun. I mean, we really only show what we want. Yeah. Like, they don't see the 
entirety of our relationship. I don't know if he will be hate at this Jesus. point. Jesus. More Aren't you guys gonna smooch it up? Give us a smooch so we can see that. Or just like jokes and curiosity. It's not like, F you, you no. don't deserve to be alive. No, right. we don't get that. Yeah, I knew about their relationship, um, seeing it on TikTok. I mean, everybody did. I think Marin and James's relationship works because they have really open communication. I feel like if- I Can we talk about the music being so garbage? Either of them have an issue, they're just very open and can talk to each other about it. Yeah, yeah I feel like since seeing this- My god, she's the smart one in the group. Relationship and being friends with Marin, it just makes me realize- I, I, I feel like their relationship is like, um, what's the word? Like, good? It's that like- I feel like people can be made for each other, you know? Being in this relationship has taught me that there's a wide spectrum when it comes to like sexuality and all that it encompasses. Okay. It's not just a straight gay bye. Honey, it's so much more. Honestly, I think this relationship taught me that there was a lot more fluidity to me than I thought. To anyone who is judgmental of us or doesn't approve, I really don't care. You're um, paying a bill. You're paying my light bill. <laughs> I and I'm cashing the check. And I'm laughing at your comment anyways because either it was funny or it was dumb enough to where it wasn't funny. And I'm still laughing. So, yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Love doesn't judge. That shit is crazy. Anyway, guys. To sum it up, I think, I mean, it's great that they're in love. It's like, it's, it's good. I have no hate against anybody. I'm not going to make any crazy jokes in this video. I, I think I'm just going to say, I think it's, I, I mean, no one hates them. No one really cares. But I think it's very interesting that a person like that can get so many followers on Instagram or on TikTok or whatever or a million views that is I want some of those views you know I want some of those views so I need to figure out how I can get the views without without putting on a dress because nowadays they want to put black men in dresses and putting on high heels and doing that like it's emasculating all the men I don't know why why they have this agenda but if if there's a black guy which is which wants to wear a dress or whatever, then they always like want to shove them in social media. It's the exact same thing with like, not even social media, I'm thinking like on TV and everything. Exact same thing in Sweden. Like we, we have a lot of masculine black men, which are just, you know, like working hard and doing all that. But once you get like a feminine guy, they shove him on TV and then he's, you know, like dancing around in his dress and doing all that extra shit, you know, that's extra for attention. Like you could just take... A normal guy like me and just like put me on TV, you know, I can I can say everything that I need to say. I can, you know, act. I can, you know, but that ain't going to happen, you know. But like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Or I maybe do this. Peace.